what I first want to do is I want to reduce color. So I go back up here to the top where it says color reduction. Now I want to reduce that to two colors, black and white. Actually, it will be gray and white because there's uh, blue in there and some other colors. So it will blend it and it will kind of be a gray. But this is to bring it down to the basic two colors in this picture. And it takes a few seconds. And then up here where it says reduce two, you want to bring that all the way down to the two. <clears throat> and hit filter. <coughs> this process of filtering takes a few minutes. After it's done, click accept. Now what we're going to do is we're going to hover on the picture and we're going to right click and there will be an edit with and there will be an MS Paint. Click on that and that will open this picture up into your MS Paint. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the black, click on my bucket and I'm going to change all the gray into black. That needs to be changed. And this down here what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my eraser and I am going to erase this because I don't need it in my picture. And you can do this with any uh, kind of artwork as far as uh, even if the artwork has color in it you can basically bring it into this MS Paint and turn all the colors into white until you just have your black outline if you'd like uh, or you can just reduce colors with the uh, other one and then bring it in here to clean it up okay so that's all erased now now what I want to do is I want to get his colors he's like a dark purple so I'm going to do a little bit darker purple on the get my paint bucket and put all the dark purples on that I need and then I'm going to do <clears throat> well actually I can't remember what his colors were maybe it was a dark blue I think that's what it was, was a dark blue. So we're going to go to a dark blue. Change those into dark blue. I think it was his socks that were purple. Okay. And then we're going to go to a light blue for his face and belly. These probably aren't the exact colors, but it will work for what I need. Okay. And we'll go back to the dark blue for his nose and his eyelids. And for his eyeball, I'm going to go and I'm going to pick a shade of light gray for inside of his eye. <clears throat> and then for his tubing, I'm going to pick red. And if you have to, you can actually go in, take your magnifying glass, and increase the size of it. So that way you can, I'll actually take this, go in here, go wider, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to go from here to here. And leave that just like that. And then from here to here. leave it and then from here to here and I'm going to do this where it's a little bit thin and I want it to be more tubular so it'll come out nicer in the end results and we'll do it from here to here And then from here, it's 
so doing these aren't all fun and games. I mean, there is some work into it as far as getting your colors right and stuff and your artwork right. The smoother your artwork is, the nicer the design's going to come out. And I'm almost done with this. I'm going to connect these two. Oops. That's just telling me that I'm having a lot of usage on my computer right now as far as what it's doing. Oops made a dot and get rid of that and all the way down to here bucket color it in okay now I can zoom back out And I want brown for his shoes, which I'm going to do a little bit darker brown. Click OK. And paint bucket. And his shoes are there. And then purple for his... Oh, let's do a darker purple. Darker purple. For that. And he is all set. Now when we close him, you'll ask to save, and you put save. And that will change him into this program. And now he's ready. And we have basically one, two, if you count, we have the white background, the black outline, that's two, the blue, three, white, blue, four, the red, five, the brown, six, and the purple, seven and the light gray makes eight in his eye. So we have eight colors. We're gonna do the reduced color again, and we're gonna bring it all the way down to eight. And I, you don't have to do this step here. You can actually go to the next step. I do this step just to verify that I have only eight colors in, in my design because the less colors that you have, the better it's going to work. Okay, and we accept, and then we go to layout. Layout on the top bar here, you go to layout, and then right underneath it, convert to vectors. Click that. Now the convert to vectors is what converts the image so it can actually be made into a usable design after we do this step. There's one more step after that. Now, you have reductions here, and it goes from 2, 4, to 16, to 256. Well, we know there's eight colors, so we're going to put 16 in here. It'll only bring up the eight colors that are in the design. And that takes a few minutes. There's the eight colors. There he is, and we're going to accept that. So before we accept... We go over to this area here where it says max error. Bring that all the way down to zero. Sharpness, bring up to five. And then minimum area, bring down to ten. And then click vectorize. And that's vectorizing your picture so it will be ready to turn into an embroidery design. This step here takes a few minutes.
Okay, now it's done, and we're going to accept and return. Now when we accept and return, this shows lines all over this. Now we're all set that we can go to embroidery. We go from layout to embroidery, and you can do art to stitches, or you can do art to stitches area only. And this is the intelligent. Do the intelligent, click on that. It has the fill in border and all the other stuff, and you click OK. Now this will take a few minutes. And this is actually turning your design into stitches now, your artwork into stitches. I'm still recording and there he is okay now we can go here and click this now there's some things in here that I want to change I want to change this and I am going to cut it I don't want that in there so cut that and this is the time that you can change things in your design like his arm, I want that instead of being a satin stitch, which it changes up here. Oops, undo that. Okay. Okay, click on the arm. Don't move it. Leave it right where it is. Oops. There we go. Okay, now it's highlighted up here. Once you click on that, it comes into this box, and this shows you that it's a satin stitch. shows you that it's 6.5 as far as how close the stitches are, which 6.5 gives you a nice tight stitch. Um, yours is probably already set like at a 4.5. Uh, you can increase it up to a 6.5. I set my chain, uh, set my settings to it have it do it out this way and you can also go here and do un underlayments uh, medium and all that to have underlayments under those stitches to make them uh, more stable but we're actually going to convert it so you click on that go down to convert and we're going to convert to pattern which is already there on pattern and we click OK that changes those stitches into pattern stitches we're going to do that to the next arm also click on it, convert, and click OK. And that changes those arms to uh, flat stitches into fill stitches. And we're going to do the next arm. And we're going to convert and click OK. Uh, I believe that's already into stitches. Uh, that one is Okay, I'm going to convert that. Click OK. And the other purple, I'm going to convert that also. And click Convert. And click OK. Okay. Uh, I believe all of his face is patterns. Now this also is the area, like say if I wanted to change his belly into different designs, I click on his belly, I can go to default, click on that, then I can go over and click on all, and that will bring up a slew of different stitch patterns and design patterns that you can change that into. I could put little uh, bumps on his belly if I wanted to and click OK and now he has little bumps and I can do that on each single one of them so it all matches and he has bumps for his belly uh, to go back all I have to do is click on that click on the picture and click on math patterns and click on default and it'll go back to the default but that's how you get your patterns now this is all done uh, 
I can actually play it out now. I'm going to play it. And what it will do is I'll bring this all the way over. And it will actually show you the stitch out of the, uh, of the design being stitched out on the screen. So that's just to show you how it's going to stitch out. Now, how I do this, since it has black and then the brown and the purple last, is when I bring this into my Futura program, I would make the black the very last block to stitch out. I'd do the purple and the brown before the black and have the black outline be the very last one to stitch out. Uh, and you can do that right in your Futura program. I don't want to change it here because it's a little bit too difficult. So now that it's all done, speed that up so it's just done. Now I can go up to the top here at the very top of my bar. There's a little square thing that looks like a save file. Click on that. It has a save as and export as. You don't want to save as because this saves as into the stitch error program. You want to export as an embroidery machine format. And you click on that. And that takes a few minutes for it to think about to convert this over to uh, the formats. Now, once it's here, you can save it in any... Uh, it has XXX. It has all, every single machine there is. Husqvarna, Brothers, whatever. I save mine in XXX format. And I'm going to leave it that way, which is right here. And I'm going to change the name of it to Alice is Cat Pillar. And I'm going to save. And that's going to be saved on Designs, work, uh, designs Working On, which is, for me, that is on my desktop, and it's all the designs that I work on. But if I wanted to, I could save it into my organizer. I could save it anywhere that I wanted to. I save it here because it's easier for me. And then I just save. And from there, uh, needles need to be uh, fixed. So I'm just going to click Yes, fix the needles. And it does it automatically for me. And that's just about it. Other than then saving the picture, how I save the picture is I actually have another program that I can open it up and I can save the picture so that way I can uh, show you guys the picture of it and then uh, upload the design of it. Uh, actually, there's one other little spot here that is satin stitches. I'm going to leave it, but uh, if I really wanted to, I'd change that also into regular stitches. Anyways, this is my little editorial, and I'm going to save this and hopefully share it with you guys.